I would like to invite Master Akshit Kanedia, the world's youngest motivational speaker and the brand ambassador of IIBS with an inspiring speech. Chairman, Director, Principal, Faculty Members and all my dear friends to, for giving me opportunity to talk on this platform and I am feeling very glad to be here on this stage and on the occasion of IIBS Aluminum 2023 Mangalore chapter in Club Kamana, Bangalore. So when I was invited here, I got to know that the audience that I'm going to face, how much I have age, that much I have experience. So when I was born, some people here were doing MBA in IBS college. So I can't really speak anything, but being the world's youngest motivational speaker, of course, I have to convey a message to you guys. So I thought, why not share to you guys a short story? So the story is about Club 49. Does anybody know what is Club 49? Nobody? Okay, so today I'm going to tell you guys. So once there was a kingdom. In the kingdom, uh, the king was very caring and he uh, liked to see his citizens happy. He liked to check on his citizens. So he wanted to see the condition of the people in the kingdom. So he took his minister and went for round around the kingdom. Then he came across this family of a farmer who were very happy. Those people were very happy. They were eating lunch, talking to each other. Two kids were playing and there was very happy vibration in the house and everyone was very happy. Then the king asked the minister, that how come these guys are very poor, they're living in a hut, they have a small piece of land in front of their house uh, in which they do farming, they don't have any money, how are they so happy? Then the minister told the king that sir, they're not the part of Club 49. Then the king asked the minister, tell me, what is Club 49? Then the minister told that sir, give me 49 gold coins then I will tell you. The king gave him 49 gold coins. Now the king again asked him, now tell me what is 49 club? Then the minister told that, sir, give me six months. After that, I will tell you. Then later that night, in the midnight, the minister took those 49 gold coins, put it in a bag and put it in front of the farmer's house and went away. Then in the morning, when the farmer opened his door, he saw a bag of 49 gold coins. Then the farmer took the bag and went into his house and started counting. Then he found out there were 49 gold coins. Then he thought that no, it's not possible. If somebody will keep gold coins, they have to keep 50. Then he counted again. Again he got 49 gold coins. He could not believe. He told that no, this must be my counting error, I'll count again. Third time he counted, again he got 49 gold coins. This time he gave his wife to count. Even she got 49 gold coins. He told her, no, count again. Again she counted, again she got 49 gold coins. And then he realized that yes, somebody had kept only 49 gold coins. And from that day he decided that he would make that 49, 50. He started working very hard for that one extra gold coin. He started working day and night, no more happiness in the family and the kids also not playing anymore. Father is out working day and night, no talking and six months was about to come to an end and there was not at all happiness in the house. Then one day the wife decided that why not I can take two gold coins and go for shopping. Then she took two gold coins 
and went for shopping because she thought that our condition is not that good so why not i can make myself happy and then she came back with so many jewelry so much food so many new clothes and when the husband came back from work he asked her that how did you get so many items then she told that i took two gold coins and i went for shopping and i bought all of these items he got very angry he told that for past 6 months i'm working so hard day and night to make that coin 50 and you have made it 47 how could you do this now how can i make it 50 it will become even more harder how can you do this now full fight started between both of them so now the condition of the house became even worse no happiness no nothing no talking and there was negative vibration in the house not at all happy and then after 6 months the king went to the minister and asked the minister so now tell me what is uh, 49 club then the minister took the king to the farmer's house then the king saw the farmer's house they were eating dinner not talking to each other very unhappy and always fighting then the king asked that how come 6 months ago they were so happy everyone was so happy they used to talk to each other playing and now they have become so sad unhappy no happiness at all and then the minister told that sir that time they were not the part of 49 club now they are part of 49 club and the making that 4950 they have ruined their whole life and they could have used the 49 gold coins to buy a house they could have used it so many more things they could have saved it but no they made it 50 and they ruined their life so the message is very clear my friends i know all of you have good paying job a good business so you get money from it so don't always try to make that money double don't always go for yes i'll make more money more money and don't forget about your family you should enjoy life at the same time i'm not telling that don't make money but you can save it and you can enjoy life also at the same time so don't try to be the part of 49 club thank you this is the